While we've seen a few characters in The Last of Us Part 2 trailers like Jesse and Dina, there's a few others that we haven't seen that I bet most fans would love to see. An obvious one is Joel, seriously, where is he, along with another that was rarely talked about in the first game. Ellie's mother has been mentioned here and there, but after the Paris Games Week trailer for the game, it's gotten a lot of people speculating, including myself, if we've already seen her. What's going on guys, TKD123 here, and I believe we've already seen Ellie's mother in The Last of Us Part 2. First, let's go over what we know about Ellie's mother already, courtesy of the Last of Us wiki. Her name was Anna, and before the outbreak, Anna worked as a nurse and at some point became good friends with Marlene. Although they fought a lot due to Anna's stubbornness, they were close. After the outbreak, she became pregnant, and sometime during late 2018 or early 2019, she gave birth to her daughter, who she named Ellie. She died within a day of giving birth to her, but she had time to write Ellie a letter. But Anna died, Marlene promised to look after Ellie in her absence. She would keep her promise to despite her position as a leader of the Fireflies. After that, Marlene took care of Ellie for a while, but eventually put her in a military boarding school. And really, that's the extent of what we know of her. We never saw her, never played as her, no pictures, no nothing. However, with all that being said, I think there's some parallels we can draw that make the woman in the Paris Games Week trailer for The Last of Us Part 2, Ellie's mother. Now, if we look at the four squares that they put as a placeholder on Twitter for the name of the woman in the trailer, when they announced that Laura Bailey was playing her, and considering that according to the last of us where we figure out that ellie's mother's name is indeed anna those four squares have to spell out anna thus making her ellie's mom in the trailer all right guys hope you enjoyed the video if you all enjoyed make sure to leave a like as well if you enjoyed it i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm i'm, I'm totally just kidding there's a lot more of this while indeed those four squares are a clear that giveaway that of course this is spelling anna let's go over some other things that clearly laid us to rest so it's been officially stated that at the e3 2018 coliseum that the last of us part two will have two different timelines that will be playable for more info, check out this video we uploaded a few weeks back, where I outline and go over that said E3 2018 Coliseum Naughty Dog panel. And so with that being said, they've shown us two different type of trailers. One style shown at the reveal trailer featuring Ellie, and the other is the Paris Games Week trailer, one can assume that these are the two different timelines. The trailers with Ellie is one timeline, and the one featuring this unnamed woman, for now, will be the other. And honestly, who knows, I could be completely wrong about this, but this is just what I'm thinking, this is just my speculation, but for video say let's just call them the two timelines with that being said i feel like i should make the case as to who it is first and then present the evidence the lady being hun is anna ellie's mother and the first segments of evidence will be what exactly happens to her in the trailer so in the trailer the unnamed woman is being hung and dragged by emily and her fellow sephrites they put the rope around the unnamed woman and emily says some interesting words to her quote they are nested with sin unquote and then proceeds to point a knife at the lower stomach region of the unnamed woman that's being hung and ask her to breathe in then emily says quote that they may know my unquote and then gets cut off by a whistle that's when we have yara come in and she gets her wings clipped off so the main takeaway here is what does emily mean by being nested with sin i see two possibilities here one i think to me nested with sin could be something that anna or the unnamed woman if we will call her right now inherently did wrong or something about her is sinful and for me the more likely candidate and my choice out of the two possibilities is that that she is pregnant and her being pregnant is sinful. From what we know so far, the Sephirites practice a form of ritualistic sacrifice. They hang their sacrifices by the neck and disembowel them, believing that they are nested with sin. This may be a ritual they do for those that disobey, as we know that the unnamed woman was a part of the Sephirites and maybe she went against the rules and thus this is her punishment for doing so. And maybe the punishment is that she had sex and became pregnant. That would also explain why she holds a knife to her lower stomach, indicating that this unnamed woman is indeed pregnant. Of course, she isn't the only person that has received this type of death, as we see other people in that same trailer being hung and having their guts open, as well as seeing it happen live at the E3 gameplay trailer with Ellie there as well. It's a common punishment for the Sephirites, and I think it doesn't only mean a punishment for women that become pregnant, but any member of the Sephirites that partake in sin. And so, could we be seeing this unnamed woman being punished for being pregnant with Ellie? I think so. The next one here is just look at her. It cannot be coincidence that she looks a lot like Ellie. She also has a pretty close resemblance to Ellie from the E3 2018 gameplay trailer especially. And remember, her age could work as well. Based off the clicker at the end of the trailer, and clickers take around a year to develop from initial infection, and also how the unnamed woman isn't really showing her pregnant belly that much, it all makes sense at her making her a little young in this trailer in my eyes. To me, she looks like maybe in her mid-20s, late 20s, maybe early 30s. 
30s, but that's pushing it, honestly. If she really is Anna, the timing this would theoretically be taking place in works based off of these clues we got from the timing of the clicker. Now, lastly here, let's talk about the hammer. This one is so clearly obvious to me that the unnamed woman is indeed Anna that this alone convinced me of so. Every year, Naughty Dog celebrates Outbreak Day, the day in The Last of Us lore that marks when the infection hit critical mass on September 26th. In 2016 on Outbreak Day, we got this poster release. While we didn't know who it was or hadn't gotten the official announcement of The Last of Us Part 2, a few months later at the PSX was when we finally got the announcement of the game, it became clear who exactly was holding this blade. It's Ellie, based off the tattoos on her arm, and so I did a little more digging, and that blade she's holding is indeed Ellie's that we see her use countless times in The Last of Us, so it's safe to say that the poster released in 2016 for Outbreak Day based off the tattoos and the blade, it's clearly Ellie. But then Outbreak 2017 rolls around, Outbreak Day in 2017, we received another poster in a similar vein, with a lot more red and dark colored hues depicts another girl holding a hammer. And in the Paris Games Week trailer, who holds a hammer in a nearly identical pose as the poster? The unnamed woman. I think this is the icing on the cake. The unnamed woman has to be Anna, Ellie's mother. It is the second timeline exploring the relationship between Anna and probably Marlene and will likely end in the following hours of Anna's life after giving birth to Ellie. You heard it here, folks, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is this Ellie's mother, Anna? Are you convinced? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. And make sure also while you are down there to check out our description where you can find the Instagram and Twitter to follow us on there. And make sure to also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it as well as subscribe to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest grades on PlayStation. Thank you for watching and as always, catch you in the next one.